These are the last confirmed sightings of seven extinct animals. Number 1. The Berber Lion Also known as the Barbary or Egyptian Lion, this lion species once dominated the landscapes from Egypt to Morocco, thriving in both mountains and deserts. The name Barbary comes from the historical name of the Maghreb region, named after the Berbers, the region's oldest inhabitants. The lion itself was known for its thick and luscious mane that covered not just its head and neck, but extended down the shoulders to the elbows and wrapped around the belly. It was probably an adaptation to the colder mountain climates. These guys were first spotted approximately 100,000 years ago and flourished until the late 19th century. Hunters claimed they were the largest among all lions, but the introduction of firearms and bounties led to a swift decline in their population. It became so bad that by the 1890s, their numbers had drastically decreased and sightings became rare. Sadly, no one cared and the decline continued until 1925 when the last recorded photo of a wild Barbary lion was taken. And despite dwindling numbers, hunting persisted until 1942 when the last known Moroccan Barbary lion was also killed by a French colonial hunter in the High Atlas Mountains. However, the last reported sightings occurred in 1956, when people on a bus near the town of Setif in Algeria observed a Barbary lion watching them before disappearing into a forested area. Unfortunately, the forest was destroyed shortly after, during the French-Algerian War. Man, you gotta hate us humans for this. Today, 80 to 100 Barbary lions exist in captivity globally. However, confirming their authenticity as true Barbary lions is challenging, as no wild specimens are available for comparison. Number 2. The Tasmanian Tiger The largest carnivorous marsupial of modern times, the Tasmanian Tiger, also known as the thylacine, once lived in Tasmania, Australia and New Guinea for over 40,000 years before going extinct in the 20th century. It used to be the top predator in eucalyptus forests, grasslands and wetlands until dingoes were introduced 3,000 to 4,000 years ago. Apart from dingoes, major threats to Tasmanian tigers were uncontrolled hunting and habitat destruction. The last one was killed in the wild in 1930 and the last captive specimen died in Hobart, Tasmania, six years later. Tasmanian tigers were four to five feet long and weighed between 40 to 70 pounds. Males were slightly larger than females, with a short light brown coat and 13 to 21 dark transverse stripes on the back. It resembled a large stock with a rounder, sensitive tail. The name Tasmanian tiger comes from the dark striped coat while Tasmanian wolf refers to the dog-like shape of the body. Despite looking similar to wild dogs and wolves, its closest relatives are the Tasmanian devil and the numbat. Active during the night, these tigers walked on all fours but could stand on their hind legs and hop like a kangaroo for short distances. They were carnivorous, dining on kangaroos, wallabies, small mammals and birds. Though not very fast, they likely hunted as ambush predators relying on keen senses of hearing and eyesight. They also had a limited bite strength and sported pouches like other marsupials. However, human activity led to their extinction, with the last confirmed wild thylacine killed in 1930 and the last one in captivity dying in 1936. Despite official declarations of extinction, some claim to have found them in small pockets in the 1980s, but these reports remain unverified. Number 3 the dodo. This flightless wonder called the dodo was a native of the island of Mauritius. Belonging to the Columbidae family, which includes doves and pigeons, the dodo was a bit of a mystery in terms of its behavior, but scientists believe it favored woodland areas and had a varied diet comprising fallen fruits, nuts, seeds, bulbs, roots, and perhaps even some shellfish for good measure. Now, the dodo made its debut on the human stage when the Dutch sailors, with a keen eye for plumpness, encountered them in 1598. These sailors weren't exactly naturalists. They were more interested in the dodo's potential as a food source. So, they noted down some observations about how the dodo was not afraid of humans and could be easily caught. And that's where the trouble began. Sailors being sailors brought along a parade of invasive animals, dogs, pigs, cats, rats, and even monkeys. 
These animals wreaked havoc on the dodo's ecosystem, causing the decline of this unique bird. Not only did human activity pose a threat, but nature also played its part, with flash floods and habitat destruction adding to the dodo's troubles. Now, what's truly interesting, or rather disheartening, is that as the dodo's numbers dwindled, nobody really paid much attention. It's like they vanished under the radar. Fast forward to 1662, and we have the last confirmed sighting. Stranded sailors captured a few dodos, killed them without much thought, and that was pretty much the end. However, unconfirmed reports and rumors lingered. Some say the governor of the island continued hunting dodos until 1688, after which, poof. The dodo's friendly nature, indifferent to the looming threat from humans, didn't really do it any favors. Now, it's a symbol of extinction, a reminder of how human actions and a lack of awareness can erase unique species from the face of the earth. Number 4. Baiji, the Chinese River Dolphin This species was pretty unique, not just in its anatomy, but also in its complex taxonomic backstory. Sadly, it holds a significant place in history as the first recorded instance of a dolphin species being driven to extinction by human actions. The Baiji dolphins were about 2 to 2.4 meters long, distinguished by their long beaks and pale gray skin, earning them the nickname Goddess of the Yangtze or Goddess of the Baiji. But sadly, future generations won't get to meet this unique species, as the last of its kind were declared functionally extinct in 2006. Also known as the Chinese River Dolphin, this amazing creature once inhabited China's Yangtze River. They were exceptional swimmers, adapted for fast swimming, and relied on sound rather than eyesight to navigate the murky river environment. Their diet primarily consisted of fish. This Chinese River Dolphin belonged to the Lipotidae family within toothed whales, and it was the only surviving member of its family. Unfortunately, with the likely extinction of Baiji, an entire family of mammals has been lost. It began in the 1950s due to the construction of dams and other structures in their habitat disrupting their movement. Pollution from nearby factories also played a significant role in their decline. Despite our efforts to help, creating a safe haven for them and all, capturing Baiji proved to be like trying to catch a sneaky friend in hide-and-seek. The last known Baiji, a guy named Cheech, sadly passed away in 2002. Even though there were whispers of possible sightings, experts pretty much declared them functionally extinct in 2006. The IUCN, the commission that keeps tabs on endangered species, labeled them as critically endangered and possibly extinct, holding out hope during a survey in 2017. But the reality is, even if a few are still swimming around out there, it's not enough to bounce back. Losing Baiji is like losing a unique piece of our natural world and it's been over 50 years since something this significant has disappeared. Number 5. The Golden Toad This unique amphibian was native to the cloud forests in northern Costa Rica, specifically within an area of no more than 8 square kilometers. It preferred an elevation ranging from 1,500 to 1,620 meters. Male golden toads had a distinctive orange color, measuring between 39 to 48 millimeters while females exhibited a variety of colors and were generally larger, ranging from 42 to 56 millimeters. These toads were known for their preference for moist burrows, and during the rainy season from late March through June, they were most active. Like many other amphibians, they laid their eggs in rain puddles. Discovered in 1966, the golden toad exhibited a fascinating behavior. Every year, they would gather in large numbers during the mating season, and so, in 1987, a healthy population of these toads was observed during breeding months, as captured in some of the last images of their thriving gatherings. However, the situation took a drastic turn in 1988, when scientists recorded only 10 or 11 toads. The decline continued, and by 1989, only one male toad was spotted. Despite extensive searches throughout the 90s, the golden toad could not be found. In 2004, after an expedition specifically aimed at locating the species, the golden toad was officially declared extinct. Now, several factors are believed to have contributed to their extinction. A significant drought in the late 80s had an impact, 
but a more critical factor was the arrival of the amphibian chytrid fungus to Costa Rica. This deadly fungus thickened the toad's skin, causing their systems to shut down and leading to the eventual death of the entire population. Number 6. The Quagga Quagga, a distinctive subspecies of the plain zebra that had a unique look. Unlike typical zebras with stripes all over, the quagga had stripes only on the front half of its body. Moreover, it wasn't black and white. Instead, it had a brown and white coat with a white belly and legs. Each quagga had its own unique stripe pattern. Initially thought to be a separate species, DNA analysis revealed it was a subspecies of the plain zebra. These zebras thrived in herds wandering the Karoo Desert and other dry regions in southern Africa. Family members stayed together for life, making special calls if lost and caring for sick or disabled members. They even slowed down the pace to ensure everyone could keep up. Such a cute bunch of considerate individuals. Quaggas were active during the day and spent their nights in short pastures, with at least one keeping watch for predators while the others slept. Being polygynous, they followed a harem-based mating system, where one male mated with a group of females. The gestation period was 12 months, and foals, born at any time, peaked in December-January. Females reached maturity at three to three and a half years, giving birth roughly every two years. Now, here comes the sad bit. Unfortunately, Dutch and British colonialists severely hunted the quagga, mistakenly believing it to be more abundant than it actually was. In 1883, the last quagga in captivity died at the Amsterdam Zoo, leading to a realization that the last wild quagga had perished about five years earlier. With the loss of this Amsterdam specimen, this precious animal became extinct. Today, there are ongoing efforts to breed this stunning animal back into existence. Yep, scientists are trying to create individuals closely resembling the extinct animal in coat pattern, striping, and color through further studies. Guess we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Number 7. The Saber-Toothed Cat also known as saber-toothed tigers or lions, these scary felines existed from 55 million to 11,700 years ago. They were named after their distinctive elongated and blade-like canine teeth that measured up to 50 centimeters long. These giant cats were carnivorous with a build similar to bears. In fact, research suggests that they were exceptional hunters, preying on large mammals like mammoths and sloths. Their ferocity was evident in their ability to open their jaws at an impressive angle of 120 degrees, twice the width of a modern lion. The decline of these top predators is believed to be linked to the extinction of the large herbivores they hunted. Other contributing factors include competition with humans, the absence of megafauna, and climate change. Saber-toothed cats were known for their prowess in taking down big prey, including mastodons, giant sloths, camels, oxen, caribou, bison, and other large animals. The last of these tigers was seen around between 8,000 and 10,000 years ago, marking the close of the Ice Age. However, despite their fearsome reputation, these cats were not related to modern cats. Instead, they share a closer genetic connection with clouded leopards, and fossil evidence suggests that these cats may have hunted in packs, demonstrating a social structure where injured members were allowed to feed first before healthy individuals. With an average weight of 750 pounds, standing 3 feet tall and measuring 5.5 feet in length, saber-toothed cats were truly remarkable creatures that roamed the earth in a bygone era. And that's all for this video. If you could bring one of these animals back, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoy learning about ancient creatures, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more cool stuff about the past.